So now let's work around with frame by frame animation inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So let's do a very simple frame by frame animation right over here. So for that, I'm going to take my pencil tool and I'm just going to decrease out the center line smoothing and I'm going to just work around with the minimum size of the brush right here as well. I'm gonna make sure that all of the other settings are turned off. Like for example, I don't want any of these settings right over here. So I'm just going to keep it all off. So when you work with frame by animation, first of all, you actually work around with the rough animation and then you later clean that up. So I'm just going to follow the same process. So there you go that my, uh, my pencil tool has been selected and to make frame by frame animation easier, I'm just going to open up my X seat as well. So I'm going to go to windows and I'm going to go to X seat right over here so that I can access this out as well. So I'm going to zoom in the cam, uh, the uh, timeline a bit. So I'm going to make something like a 10 frame animation right over here. So let's do that. So I'm going to go to the first frame. So I, I want to have an animation where there's a ball over here in the left side. It squeezes out in the center and then it ends out over here. So I want to work around with the frames right here. So I'm going to work around with the first frame and I'm just going to draw out roughly. It doesn't matter if uh, the drawing is very, very rough at this point. You just need it as a reference, just like this. So this is my first frame over here. So now I'm going to go to my second frame. So I am going to draw my 10th frame over here now. So this is just a cheating method that you can use. So I'm just going to um, enable the onion skinning over here so that this is because it's easier to work out because if I were to expand my onion skin and go to the 10th frame, it's very, very faint right here. You cannot see it, but in the second frame, you cannot actually see it. So I'm just going to draw out my 10th frame over here, just like this. So. This is my 10th frame. I'm not very good at drawing, so you don't need to be very worried about it. So this is my 10th frame and I'm going to go to my selection tool and this is where uh, the final position of the ball will be. So this is my first frame and this is my 10th frame. So now what I can do is uh, I can actually go over here onto the selection as you can see. So now I can just select the frame and click and drag it onto the 10th frame just like that as well and that is done. So that's the first frame over here and that's the 10th frame right over there. So now I can expand out the onion skinning as well and see it that I got the faint type of thing right over there. So now what I want to do is as I drag in, you see in XC that uh, it actually named the uh, frame two. This is not what I want. I want it to be named as 10. So I'm going to press control D. Don't just type over it. So type control D and press 10. So that renames the uh, layer for you. So now over here, I'm going to make something like a fifth frame uh, where the ball is around at the center. So I'm just going to do the same technique. So I'm just going to go around over here. Uh, I'm going to take this as a reference on the second uh, one itself. So just on the third frame, that's okay. So because I want to see the keyframe right over here, but I want to delete this frame anyway. So uh, I'm just going to delete the keyframes over here, delete the frame. So I just want to delete out. Okay. I just press the delete key so that I have a blank canvas to work with. So now I want to uh, draw out somewhere around the fifth frame where the ball is a bit squashed. So it's a bit, bit squashed right over here because it is actually moving in speed. So I want it to be something like this right here. So now I'm just going to drag this out over here on the center, just like this. So now you can see that I have this out. So I'm just going to move this on to the fifth frame right here. And there you go. So you can see that how I can easily rearrange it. So I'm just going to rename this out as well. I'm going to press control uh, D and then I'm just going to rename this to five, fifth, that, the fifth frame right over here. So you can see that now I got the keyframes right over here, just like this. So you got the uh, straight ball over here. You got the squashed version of the uh, ball right over here on between. So it seems like, okay, so that is not showing up for some reason. Okay, come control Z and that's it. I accidentally must have deleted it. So you got the uh, first frame, you got the center frame and you got the final keyframe right over there here there. So now what I need to do is work around with the in, the, uh, in between frames. So usually what you are expected to do in frame by frame animation is you work around with the first and last 
frames first, then you work around with the in-betweens. That, so that will actually help you guide around everything. So now I'm going to go over here, take the pencil tool again, and now I'm going to draw the in-betweens over here. So uh, I want it to be something like this, something like a bit squashed over here onto the side. And there you go. There's uh, my frame right over here and so somewhere over here as well. So I'm going to add in uh, another frame over here as well. So I'm just going to delete it. So over here, you can see that now sort of an animation is actually happening. So you got this. And so the ball is moving around and it actually ends up over here. So similarly, I'm going to draw frame by frame now. So you can see that this is the first frame. Now I'm just going to delete this out over here so that you don't see the frame anymore. So I'm just going to select this keyframe. You, you just got to select the keyframe, uh, the frame over here and then press delete key so you don't delete the rest of it. So I just have a blank frame right here. So over here, I'm just going to draw the in between as well. And this is how you can select the uh, onion skinning. So I don't want a lot of onion skinning reference right here. So I'm just going to resize this out to just take the first and the next uh, drawing right over here. So now again, I'm going to take the pencil tool right over here and draw something around here, uh, which is like another shape right here. So let me just go over here and draw out another shape over here, which is like an in-between. So you got this, you got a bit of a movement over here and this one. And now you want the in-betweens right here, kind of like it is stretch stretching out. So just like this, uh, I want it to be stretching out over here. And there you go. So there you go. That's the frame right over here. So you, you can see that this is moving out right over here, just like this squash. And I want it to, uh, fall out another part now. So I'm just going to delete this frame right over here. And over here, you, you can't see anything. So I'm just going to uh, delete this out, edit, redo so that I don't delete this frame accidentally. So I just want to delete this frame out. So select this out, delete, and there you go. That frame has been deleted. And over here, you can see that the fifth frame is still seen. I don't want that out right there. So I'm just going to delete that. And there you go. So you got this frame right here, then Okay, so seems like there's an error right here. So the fifth frame is actually being sewn up over here as well. So sometimes that happens uh, because it doesn't know the frame. So it's one. You can see that the order of the frame is actually not correct. So it is one. Let me just uh, disable the uh, onion skin right here. That's one. That's three. And then that's two. So that's not correct. So I'm just going to rename that out. I'm going to press Control D. I'm just going to rename this uh, something like this for a while. And I'm going to press Control D press two so because that's frame number two and I'm going to press control D and that's frame number three. So now uh, it is an occurring naming scheme as you can see. So four is fine, fifth, five is fine and six. So you can see that this is actually the eighth frame and not the sixth frame. So control D and this is going to be eight. So you really have to be careful about naming right over here just like this. So now I'm going to uh, turn on the onion skinning over here. Uh, not the layer, sorry. So, uh, so turn on the onion skinning right over here. And then I can go over here and draw the in between. So let's go over here and draw out this part as well. Just like this, I'm going to draw out this part over here. So I don't need to be very, very good. But whenever I'm cleaning up, I need to make sure that I do have it. So anyways, you can see that that's it. So there's the before and after frame right here. I'm just going to draw this around over here, just like this. And that's the sixth frame, as you can see right here, but I don't want it to be the sixth frame. This is the seventh frame. So control D and seven, there you go. So over here, finally, I want to uh, delete this frame right over here. And then uh, just take the before and after right over here. There's a bit of an animation going on right over here. So once I actually uh, disable the onion skinning right here, you can see that this is what happens. So if I were to play this out, you can see that there's a bit of an animation going on right over here, just like this. So you got uh, something like flat. Uh, this is not working quite well, so I'm just going to delete it. And I'm going to uh, turn this on. So it actually looks like there's a bit of a transition right here. It's not looking so odd. So there you go. So if I were to turn off this now, so you can see that this is how it works like. So if I were to play this, you can see that there's an animation where the circle is going from left to right. 
So this is the rough animation. So once rough animation is done, you want to clean it up. So I'm just going to lock this layer right over here and I'm going to create a new drawing layer now. So I'm going to go over here, create a new drawing layer, which is going to be my refined drawing layer. And I'm going to go to my pencil tool for this. I'm going to go to, uh, you can also uh, use the, uh, use the polyline tool for this. But anyways, I'm going to use pencil tool because it's faster to work and easier as well for, as this is a simple drawing anyway. So I'm going to go over here, really increase the smoothing for this. And I'm going to increase the size a bit as well. And since I'm using this as a reference, I'm going to turn on the light table. So it actually dims it out. So over here on the first frame, so now you just trace it out. So you just trace it out slowly right over here. And there you go, you got a clean line right over there, just like this. So you got over here, this is a medium tapered type of drawing right over there. As you can see, I don't want that. I want a very, very simple one. So let me just increase the size and increase the center line smoothing right over here, just like this. So let me just increase the size. And now I'm just going to draw on top of it very carefully, just like this and close this out. And you can see that I really have a smooth lining now. So go on to the second frame. Now I'm just going to use this as a reference just draw around and there you go. So that's my second drawing over here, as you can see. Now the third drawing, right? So let's draw around and there you go. So that's the third drawing over here. You can see that there's a bit of a movement going on as well. So it's starting to stretch over here and there you go. So that's my fourth drawing. The fifth one where it is stretching out really well, right? So it's stretching out. Then it's this one. Okay, so you can see that now it looks much more cleaner. And there you go. Oh. Okay, so you can see that this is the animation now. And over here it is forming back into a circle now. And finally, this one. So I accidentally deleted it. Okay, there you go. So, and finally, draw out this frame right over here. And you got this animation now. So I can simply uh, disable this layer and you can see that if I were to play it, you got the clean animation right over there. So let me just uh, decrease the size of this, size of the animation play area so that you can see it much more well. So if I were to play this, you can see that this is the animation you have. Let me just repeat it out again. This is the animation you have. I can even uh, make it slower to like 12 frames per second. And if I were to play it, you can see that it uh, plays around and slowly now and you can see that the animation is there. So now what you can also do is you can start coloring it. So you can take something like the paint bucket tool, uh, you can go into color and you want to fill it up with the color right here. So let me just go over here and select something soft just like this. So now I can simply fill these up with colors as well and they make for an interesting animation. And this is how you actually work around with frame by frame animation, just like as you would in traditional era. So uh, if you have knowledge of drawing and you have a tablet, then this is actually very, very useful. And you, you, have, you may have noticed that this does take a lot of time and that's quite normal. So if I were to play this, you can see that this is the sort of the animation we have now. So we have frame by frame, but the ball is moving from left to right here. So kind of like looks like it is moving. So just change the frames per second, 24 frames per second. It's uh, so let me just pause this around. So if I were to change the frames per second right here, like into 30, play around, you can see that it is much faster. So that is how you can do frame by frame animation inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.